The G7 summit ended this weekend, and it's bad news for investors. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The leaders of the world's seven richest democracies, the so-called G7, ended their annual meeting this past Sunday in Cornwall, England, and what a disappointment it was. One helpful thing the summiteers did do was pledging to increase the availability of COVID-19 vaccines to poorer nations. That was about it. President Biden had said he wanted to create a united front against Chinese human rights abuses and other offenses. Yet the closing statement vis-a-vis China was watered down. Germany and Italy didn't want to jeopardize their business ties with Beijing. China's leaders won't be losing any sleep here. More to the point, what the G7 agreed on will make them less strong economically. They reiterated their support for a global minimum tax on businesses, particularly America's high-tech powerhouses. This is politicians speak for higher taxes on large companies, a foolish self-destructive move, especially right now. Bigger exactions will mean less money for investment, which is absolutely critical for growth and innovation, less money to pay workers, and higher prices for consumers. Left unsaid, of course, is that this tax scheme is a precursor ultimately for more taxes on the middle class, where the real money lies. Bureaucrats behind the scenes are already at work on such plans for the future. Higher taxes are a growth killer, period. No nation ever taxed its way to prosperity. Then the G7 reiterated support for alternative energy proposals to end gasoline and diesel-fueled automobiles and trucks. However, the science and technology isn't there for that. Mining output for lithium would have to increase 40-fold. Mining for graphite, 25-fold. And mining for nickel would have to increase 20 times what it is today. Not realistic. Use of cobalt would have to expand exponentially. And guess who controls 90% of cobalt refining? China. The push would sharply increase energy costs. Germany made a massive move in recent years to wind and solar, but because of the weather-related uncertainty of these facilities, Germany's had to increase its reliance on coal, and German electricity costs are now two to three times what they are in the U.S. Meanwhile, China and India are substantially increasing the construction of coal-powered electricity plants. Russia has announced it will be pouring tens of billions of dollars to expand its production of oil and natural gas. With sanctions ending, Iran is also increasing its extraction of oil. Economically, what the G7 countries should focus on is easing their tax and regulatory barriers to growth. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions, and I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 